These can be broadly split into three categories. Enhanced tracking capabilities, new tools that will be primarily useful in a live performance context, and upgrades to Live's existing sound generation, processing, and sequencing capabilities. The sweet edition of Live 11 includes four main new effects, Pitch Loop 89, a pitch shifting effect inspired by an obscure, primitive digital pitch shifter, the Publison DHM 89 B2, hybrid reverb, a dual algorithmic and convolution reverb suitable for both standard and sound design S reverbs, and spectral resonator and spectral tim. Performance and Verdict For those who use live to track MIDI and audio performances, the new comping and link track capabilities will be the most exciting addition. Comping works in a straightforward manner, record audio or MIDI over a loop section of the project, and the data will still be recorded to a single clip. But each cycle will be placed on a new take lane. Take lanes can be viewed by right-clicking on a track header and selecting Show Take Lanes and they are displayed under the main lane in a fashion similar to multiple automation lanes. To comp the recorded material, one selects the desired section of a track lane and presses the Enter key to place it on the main lane. Alternatively, Draw Mode can be used to just drag over part of a clip, and it will be placed on the main lane. It's an easy-to-use solution to a long-requested feature that will no doubt delight those eagerly awaiting it. Link tracks work in a similarly unfussy fashion. To link tracks, one selects multiple tracks, right-clicks one of their track headers, and selects link tracks. When tracks are linked, selections made on one of the tracks will be reflected on the others, making it possible to edit audio on multiple tracks at once. This is useful when working with multiple copies or related versions of the same material, and will likely prove invaluable to those dealing with multi-track vocal and drum recordings. But its functionality is limited to affecting clips at the same time position. Still, a powerful feature and one that can be used in conjunction with track lanes, making it possible to quickly create and edit complex multi-track layers. It even works with warping, making it easy to time correct multi-track elements. Live performance-wise, Live Now has the ability to select an audio input channel and use it to control Live's internal tempo. This is simple to set up. Just select an audio input channel in Live's preferences and GT. Link Tempo MIDI Panel then set the Show Tempo Follower toggle to Show, and a Follow button will appear to the left of the familiar Tap button at the top left-hand corner of Live's interface. Activate this and Live will analyze the audio input and adjust the project tempo accordingly. Another feature that could be useful in a live context is the introduction of a probability lane in the MIDI editor that controls the chance that a particular note will play. It's also possible to set a range for a note's velocity level that one could use to create a more natural-sounding performance when playing live. Macros have also been given a, a shot in the arm with the ability to have between 1 and 16 macros in a rack, and macro snapshots now allow for the creation and recall of multiple setups which can even be randomized for sonic inspiration. We are going to end this video right away. If you have any query or information to share, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.